Hi, Luke here from the Nerd Soapbox, and today we're at the Stan Lee Los Angeles Comic Con. And uh, guess what? I've got a special guest with me. Yep, she's a costume designer, she's a model, an entrepreneur, a cosplayer based in Atlanta, Georgia. It's, it's, it's Yaya Han! Hi, Hi Yaya! Hi there! Hi, how are you doing? I'm very good, nice to meet Whoa. you! Whoa, nice to finally meet you! I know! Oh man, this is like a dream come true. Yeah, well, you are my favorite color. You're purple. <laughs> I love it. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. very okay. stylish. Yeah, I take you, the bow tie. You. Okay, okay. So, when did you start cosplaying? So, I, I like to say that I discovered cosplay All right. 18 years ago. <laughs> so, I was really still quite a newbie kid and yeah, yeah. Um, just happened to find out about it more than, you know, sooner than a lot of people. and. So yeah, I just kind of jumped into it because there was such a tiny community in 1999. Cool. But uh, yeah, I made my first costume and okay, went to okay. Anime Expo. What was your first yeah. costume? Okay, so it was uh, from a from an anime called Yu Hakusho, and I was dressed as a male character called Kurama. Oh. But I totally did not try to make myself look like a guy, so no one recognized me, not a single person. Oh, wow. <laughs> but it was fun. Great, great. Okay. Uh, have you always been into uh, crafts and uh, sewing? Um, I never started sewing until I started cosplaying. Um, my right. mom didn't sew, I was never taught, but I was always very creative. So before sewing, I did a lot of art. So I would do fan art of my favorite manga All characters right. and anime characters. But then when I discovered cosplay, I was like, well, I can be the character. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's even better. So <laughs> yeah, I, I sort of taught myself how to sew. Oh, wow. So it was really tragic at the beginning, <laughs> like oh. really horrible costumes. Okay, okay. So there's hope for me yet. Of course, oh. anybody can cosplay. I, I'm yeah. cosplaying now. Exactly. I am. This is Matt Smith, Doctor Who. <gasps> I totally see it. Yeah, with yeah. the bow tie. You did a great job. Oh, no, thank I, you. Thank you. I love it. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I think you have better hair than he does. <laughs> oh, you're just saying that. <laughs> okay, okay. What, what's the most difficult cosplay that you've attempted so far? Oh God. Um, I made, I made um, Camilla, Carmilla from Vampire Hunter D. That right. was a milestone costume. Um, that was back in 2009, and uh, then. Very recently, I made uh, Gamora from the Guardians of the Galaxy comic Whoa. books, and nice. I made all the armor out of foam and then coated in plastic. Wait, you you had a you had a video about that, like yeah. a how-to. Yeah, exactly. I watched that. Wow, I you did. did? I'm yeah. so touched. Thank oh, you so yeah, much. Yeah. Oh my god. No, it's helping me. It's helping me do my own armor. Really? Yeah, that's Thank great. You. I love that video. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Well, that one was really challenging. So. I bet. It looks like it. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I'm glad I have the video because I could watch it. And I could like work a little bit on what yes, I'm doing, and exactly. then stop it, and then rewind it, and then watch it again. I'm so glad. That's why yeah. I'm making those videos. Oh, you know? thank you so much. Okay, okay. So, have you ever had a co the cosplay that you've tried to do, but uh, didn't finish it? You know, for one reason or other. Maybe your skills weren't ready yet, or oh, um, you had to like you had to learn how to do make something. Yeah. Um, yes, absolutely. It happens. It has happened to me more than once. And right. I like to think that it's um, not the right time and the right place, you know? Like, okay. um, circumstances have to come together for a costume to, to appear. It is, it's a lot of hard work and, you know, we, and that's the great thing is you can always challenge yourself, you can always learn, you know? I've been doing oh, yeah. this for 18 years and I'm still learning. Uh, so, I don't ever want to think of a costume as a failure. I want to okay. think of it as, you know, one day it will be the right time. Work in it. progress. Yeah, exactly. All right, all right. How do you choose your characters that you're going to cosplay? Um, I feel like it depends on depends on what I want to make. You know, like you sometimes you're in the mood to sew, sometimes you're in the mood to do something different. Like, all right. I've made 350 costumes, so I have uh, to. Uh, uh, uh -huh. 300 of what? 350 costumes. I mean, I, I don't wow. know the exact count, but it's definitely 350 wow. something. That's um, amazing. Thank you. But that means that I have to always switch things up. Otherwise, it gets really boring. Oh, right? yeah. So so I look at what I feel like making, and I have a long list of characters that I love, that I feel a connection to, and I sort right. of choose the characters based on you know what I feel like becoming. You know, okay. in that month or something. Do, do you make the props too for your cosplay? Yes, I do make everything. Um, I will say I'm a lot more comfortable with sewing than prop making, but uh, it's 
it's really important for me to make as much of the costume as I can. Okay. And if I do collaborate with a prop maker, I always credit them, I pay them, you know, I always nice. try to make sure to um, to make it into a proper collaboration. What, what has been your favorite cosplay so far? God. It's like asking what my, who is my favorite child is. Oh, it's a little one. It's the little four-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, um, I like cool, like, dynamic characters that I can do cool poses with. All right. Or I like characters that um, I had a really good memory of making the costume where everything sort of oh. came together. Okay. So like uh, Xiao Jun from Assassin's Creed or um, Chun-Li. Catwoman, Arkham City. Oh, yeah. Um, but then I really like transformation costumes too, where okay. I really like change exactly, like change how I look, like Jessica Rabbit. Uh, Jessica is not as comfortable to wear, and I can't see, so <laughs> with the hair. I love you, Jessica Rabbit, though. Thank you. It's, it's, oh, I love it. Oh my god. Um, um, would you marry me? <laughs> oh, you're so cute. I uh, already have been asked that, so I'm already promised to oh. another. My fiance Got any sisters? I don't. I oh. don't have any sisters. I'm so sorry. But uh, need you a are pet? such a handsome need a guy. Pet? Do I need a, need pet? a pet? I actually I don't have any pets at the There moment. we go. Yeah. I could be your pet. Yeah, we could we could work <laughs> something out on that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I love your <laughs> I could dress you up. No. Oh god. That would be great. <laughs> Co cosplay together. <laughs> like, like a group cosplay. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so fun. Okay, okay. okay. That would okay. be great. So the um, your photos, the tea room photos? Those Whoa. are those are like magical. Oh my god, you remember my tea room photos. Those that are I love those. Ago. Thank you. Those are really good. Okay, okay. Okay. Also, I have a little fanboy crush on your uh, pirate Cheryl cosplay oh from my god. Uh, from Across from Frontier. Across Frontier. Yeah. Yes, yes. My, That's my fantastic. Yeah. yeah, I was like I look at that one and my my little heart goes It's cuz she's purple. Like that. Yeah. She's all purple like you. Yeah. Yeah, my heart's like I love that one. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. okay, so you've built a successful uh, business in the cosplay community, uh, you know, creating uh, accessories and uh, yeah. all these, you know, your Yaya, Yaya Han brand merchandise. Yeah. Can you tell us a little about, about your uh, fabric line? Yeah. You know, that's uh, available at Joanne's Fabrics. Oh my God, I know. That's, that's been the really challenging, really rewarding project. It's a long-term project. All right. But uh, I am the first cosplayer to have a line of fabrics um, that I've designed and helped, you know, like that are licensed in my name. Wow. Uh, and yeah, they're available in uh, over 600 stores, uh, Joanne fabric stores um, all over the US. And now they're actually available in Germany and Australia Ooh. as well. Yeah, wow, so, so global. What, thank you. Yeah, yeah, goes global. Honestly, it's been so great to see cosplayers making costumes with my fabrics. I feel yeah. like that's sort of, you know, my way to give back to this community that's given me everything. You know, all the happiness in my life has come from this cosplay community. So, you know, now it's time for me to do what I can to make materials available. All right. And, you know, making sewing patterns with McCall's and uh, just and that's continue awesome to too. pushing to, to inspire people because because cosplay is it's not easy to get into it is right. uh, it is a very overwhelming community right now so I want to make it as easy as possible for new cosplayers so that they can just focus on the fun part you know oh yeah okay 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 Wait, so what kind of like I, I hear you have these ready-to-wear costume accessories that are available on your online store. Yeah, yeah, like I what do. kind? Yeah, so like, I have I have really cute kitty ears and fox ears. Wait, and kitty ears? And I'd I love do. to have a pair of oh kitty God. ears. That would be fantastic. Let me oh. grab your set of kitty ears. Oh, oh hold on, one moment, no. please. So yeah, these are designed by me. They're like these you know, adorable. they're copyrighted to me, and we make them put all. Put them on. Put them on. We make them all. Um, by hand, and and they just turn in, you into a kitty. Like, hold on, let me, oh, let me make this just a little chin. bit. Oh, no, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this right. Oh, okay, okay. That's the great part, is you can. I'm excited. I'm gonna, can you tell I'm excited? I'm excited. You're going to become a kitty. <gasps> there we go, there we go. Okay, watch my glasses. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, my God. Uh, that is there the go. cutest ever. Yeah. Instant yeah. cosplay, you know. <laughs> this so is now great. Your you're kitty Doctor uh, Who. Okay, okay. So this, these, these are available on your website? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I have a store with these and a lot more 
Uh, so yeah, yayahan.com. This is fantastic. Check it out. Oh. Can outfit you for the whole <laughs> whole thing. Okay, ensemble. Okay. So, do, do you have any advice for someone like myself that's uh, you know maybe has a bow tie and some kitty ears and wants to start cosplaying? Honestly, this is the first step. You know, like uh, you cosplay by putting a costume on your body. That's it. All right. And um, but to really enjoy the maximum that that cosplay has to offer, I think it's really cool to make something like you don't have to make your whole costume okay. but you know focus part on one it. part yeah because then right. you'll feel a lot more proud it's it's going to be so much more personal and um and so i want to first of all like encourage people to get hands-on crafty even though okay. you can buy costumes fairly easily these days but the the reason you should make your costume is that then you can create your own vision oh. you know it'd be something unique that makes sense that, yeah that is that nobody else has that, that only you have and it's your homage to the character right. um, and then really there are a lot of resources available out there like I said you know you can now buy fabrics and patterns like your website up. yeah yeah and I will post more tutorial videos on my YouTube Thank you. uh, so really just don't be afraid to go out there and research and you know really do do the, okay. the yeah like don't take the shortcut <laughs> <laughs> like, right, right. really go in there experiment with different methods i will i will okay do you have a favorite a favorite uh cosplay fan experience favorite cosplay fan well i have an experience where i was the fan <laughs> and yeah, i was yeah. in cosplay yeah i got to meet um george r martin Whoa, the you, author you met george r. r martin i did i met george r, r. martin the mountain the that's the, great. the guy who wrote the mountain. The yeah, guy who wrote yeah. the mountain. Oh, so yeah, he's the author, is the mountain. Yeah, yeah, so the author for the Song yeah. of Ice and Fire ah, series. Ah, oh god, ah, you're you're too ah. You're too my, animated. My ears, my ears fell you're off. too animated for the yeah. ears. Maybe we should uh, put him on later. Yeah, that sounds later. good. Yeah. So yeah, I got to meet George, George at oh, wow. uh, San Diego Comic Con and uh, he I was in costume. I, I wore my Daenerys costume. Oh wow. So he signed my costume and he asked me to come to the panel for the Game of Thrones cast, so I got to actually this, meet this, the cast. This is really cool. Yeah, so, so I felt like it was very generous. Um, oh, yeah. He did not have to do that. Wow. Yeah. So, so I really enjoyed the fact that now cosplayers can actually reach the creators that yeah. made their designs through social media or conventions. And so you get like, you know, immediate feedback on, yeah, on yeah. your costume. And there's nothing better than the creator of your character saying that they like your costume. You know, like, that's, that's fantastic. That's, it. that's all we want. Okay, okay. Tell us your social media and how we can like keep in yeah. contact with you and um, what's your website address? For sure. So my website is yayahan.com and all, right. all my social media is listed on there. But um, I post every day on Twitter and Instagram under Yaya Han. You might follow you on, on Instagram. Will you follow yes. me? Yes. Yeah. Of course. Dude, yeah. Fantastic. Absolutely. We were like we'll Instagram, Insta friends. For sure. That sounds good. <laughs> Insta <Yeah>. friends. <laughs> oh, can I get a hug? Of course. Oh. oh. Wow. So I, nice can't, I can't believe you. I I can't believe I met you. No, this is so fantastic. Nice to meet you. Wow. All right, people. There was Yaya Han and. Uh, Let's see who else we can find at the Stan Lee Los Angeles Comic Con. Oh, what are you working on now? What am I working on now? Yeah. Oh, God. Too many things. Too many things. Well, this is my last con of the year. So <gasps> Mine I'm, too. Um, I'm excited to go Then back I can move in with you and something. I can be your pet. There you go. You yeah. can like, help we me can, Yeah, you can dress me up. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you. Keep me company while I right. sell.